Welcome back to KBLP, live with Denise Harris in the book corner. Now we're going to discuss some um, a horror book I found, uh, Easter book, and then we're going to discuss some horror um, Easter movies. Uh, recap, I'll play some more um, Easter music for you, for your pleasure. So um, let's get to it. The one book I found, it's called Don't Go Down the Bunny Trail. Um, <laughs> little Emily has been waiting patiently for Easter to arrive. Now it's a, a few hours left on the afternoon before Easter. But her dad's late coming home from work. The sun is setting, and she's afraid to be alone um, when the woods get dark. It's a scary uh, short story about um, something strange that's coming down the bunny trail towards Emily's house. She's not sure if it's really the Easter bunny or if that creepy rabbit from her dad's uh, horror DVD, or something else the townsfolk whisper about, um, there, something that came down to earth in a fireball from the sky and landed in the lake at the end of the bunny trail. So um should be interesting. It's called uh, Don't Go Down the Bunny Trail. So if you're interested, uh, that's... Uh, a uh, good Easter book uh, for our horror fans. And some of the um, horror Easter movies um, I found uh, were really good. Most of us have seen them. And, of course, you have uh, the three Bunny Man movies. <laughs> Bunny Man, Bunny Man Massacre, and Bunny Man Vengeance. Uh, there's a one called Thumper. Interesting, interesting. Peter Rotten Tail. Easter Bunny. Kill Kill. Um, Easter Casket, and Night of the Leafus. And I've seen blah, 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 one, two, maybe four of those. So there's some more I need to uh, um, check out. So if if uh, Saturday evening, you know, there's nothing on, and I don't think the Easter movies will be on until Sunday, so here's there are some um, Easter horror theme movies for you. Um, again, Bunny Man, the three movies, Bunny Man, Bunny Man Massacre, and Bunny Man Vengeance. Gotta love it. Uh, Peter Rotten Tail, Thumper, Thumper. That looks downright creepy, if you ask me. Um, Easter Bunny, Kill Kill, Easter Casket, and Night of the Leafus. So, um, there you go, my horror, horror uh, people. Enjoy. Um, there's also a Dead Bunny book. Um, and it's uh, photography of um, macabre and focuses on real life death situations with humorous uh, backstories. Um, it provides some comic relief and the fuzziness for anyone with a morbid curiosity. So there you go, two books, Dead Bunny Book, and uh, Don't Go uh, Down the Bunny Trail, two uh, horror Easter books for you, and uh, <laughs> those Easter uh, horror theme movies. I'm sure I'll be checking a few of those out Saturday night while I'm coloring eggs. So, um, let's go through um, the books again that uh, are recommended for the children. We have um, Pete the Cat, The Berenstain Bears and the Easter Story, uh, Paw Patrol, The Pups Save the Bunnies and Spring into Action, Here Comes Peter Cottontail by Random Hound. Tale of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter. And again, we all grew up with uh, Beatrix Potter. Um, Adventures of Peter Cottontail by Thornton Burgess. It's the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown. Of course, by Charles M. Schultz. Um, Disney's Cars, Mater. And the Easter Buggy. Can't miss that. Easter Express with Thomas and Friend. Peppa's Easter Egg Hunt. Uh, Dora the Explorer, Dora's Easter Adventure by Nickelodeon, Doc McStuffins, Bunny in a Basket, and then, of course, our top ten Easter movies. I hope you'll be able to catch them. Um, so, I um, hope you all have a happy Easter. Get you all your Easter stuff done and get some good chocolate bunnies. I'm into chocolate. I, I, cupcakes. Um, cupcakes. Cake. That sounds really good about now, too. Um, and speaking of um, books from your childhood, what was your uh, favorite? Uh, what What's some of the first books you remember reading when you were a child? I remember uh, Peter Cottontail and all that being younger. When I got older, oh my gosh, I was into 
But Nancy Drew and Hardy Boys Mysteries, I don't know about any of you. Um, I, I just couldn't get enough of them. I thought Nancy Drew was just it. She was it, you know, and of course the Hardy Boys. Um, and I was into mysteries already, even then. So I guess that's, uh, and of course, uh, horror-themed movies. Uh, my mom used to keep me up at night, though, and my dad worked third shift and watched horror movies with her. So that's how this all started. So, okay, yes. <laughs> okay, Chris. <laughs> the queen has lost her mind. Yes, I have, as a matter of fact. Um, I'm not going to look for it either. We'll just leave it run amok for a while. Uh, <laughs> I need a break. So, uh, <laughs> what was your uh, first childhood story, Chris, that you remember? Um, I was, at, like I said, I was into the Nancy Drew Hardy Boys mysteries. I remember devouring those books. I couldn't get enough. Uh, they were. I, I don't know why. Um, my mom and dad read all the time. My dad read. Uh, we used to get the comic books and uh, Archie and uh, Bugs, but you know all the good ones. Um, but we weren't allowed to touch them until Dad read them first. So, and if there was a page messed up, God forbid, we got into trouble. So we had a way. It's like, hurry up, Dad, read them like you know yesterday, so we could read them. And of course, uh, they they were into books too, Mom especially. And then I read what she read. But uh, yes, childhood, um, miss those times. Responsibility. Ugh, who wants it, right? So, <laughs> Hardy Boys, Dad. All right. Yeah, me too. Harry Boys, Nancy Drew. Uh, those are the ones I really remember the most. Uh, there was another one about uh, some nurse. I don't remember the name of them, though. No. I, I devoured those, too. Um, can't remember the name of that. But, uh, yeah, Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew, they were the best. Remember the series? I kind of remember them. Not, not too well, vaguely, but... Um, I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> of course, we're straying off subject here, but that's okay. We're talking about childhood, so that's okay. Um, so any of those movies are uh, going to be on this week, please watch. Uh, hope your kids will find some of those um, Easter books in their Easter baskets. Uh, so I hope I find a few things in my Easter basket I, if I get one, so I doubt it. Easter Bunny doesn't come see me. I'll have to make my own. Oh, darn. Cake and chocolate works for me. <laughs> What's your favorite Easter candy? Um, I have to say, I like Robin's. Those Robin's eggs and, of course, uh, Reese's uh, eggs. Reese's peanut butter eggs. Yeah, mine too. Nancy Drew. Uh, it's horror. Yeah, exactly. Chris's uh, first, horror, er, his first horror book. Hardy Boys. Of course. They were, you know, always getting into haunted uh, houses and things like that. They were, they were awesome. What's your favorite Easter candy, Chris? You like the Peeps? Uh, here's a tip for uh, leftover Peeps. Maybe they get a little hard. Um, some cooler nights, put them in hot chocolate, just like a marshmallow, because that's what they are. So um, there's a tip for you, such as it is. <laughs> so, um, but it's a good way to to uh, soften them up and use them. Uh, so take that however you want it. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so yeah, leftover peeps, that's always a good, I I, th I do. I mean, I set stuff out because I have my dad over and stuff and uh, I have a tray set out for anybody who wants any candy. But, um, and my daughter and uh, her family. So, you know, I have it out. So if there's any leftover peeps, it's hot chocolate for them um chocolate bunnies yeah all milk chocolate not the hollow ones those are nah the the solid chocolate mm -mm -mm. good stuff good stuff chris's favorite is chocolate bunnies of course who doesn't like chocolate not very many people i know don't like chocolate so that's that's awesome um so what are uh, anybody's other easter traditions um, of course, you have we have the ham, potato salad, macaroni salad. I'm gonna have a fruit salad and um, cookies and lemon bars this year. So, and of course, candy. Like I, I don't need it, but it likes me as much as I like it. So, um, I always hear the Reese is calling me, Denise. Please come get me. And I'm like, okay, I'm there. <laughs> My downfall and. Uh, 
the big uh, cutout cookies, Easter cookies. So, yeah, I don't need it, but I'll eat them anyway. <laughs> so, um, uh, I'm trying to think of any other Easter dinner. Usually, if King of Kings is on after dinner, that's what I watch. Um, that is such an epic movie, as I said, Jeffrey Hunters. And if you don't know him from King of Kings, he was in the uh, pilot of Star Trek the series. So, um, I'm sure you know him from that, if nothing else, if you're a Trekkie. So, it, I can, that is my favorite, favorite, favorite movie. Uh, as far as Easter or Christmas, that is, I mean, I can't even explain it. You have to, the music, Orson Welles narrating his voice is just um, penetrating. And he just plays, the uh, uh, portrays uh, Jesus so, so well. Uh, those eyes, mm, just give me goosebumps. <laughs> yeah, they call me all the time, Chris, believe me. Uh, uh, that's usually a sign I have to clean it out, though, if I hear voices from the refrigerator. If they start knocking, I'm in real trouble. But, um, yeah, if please, if you haven't seen King of Kings, please do. Excellent, excellent movie. I can't recommend it enough. Um, so, I'm going to go into some other music. <laughs> yeah, I like the voices from the refrigerator. Usually, they call from the table the cover, the refrigerator, whatever's available, wherever they're at. Um, but like I said, if the knocking happens and um, I'm kind of afraid to look into it, I have to clean it out. So I'm going to play some more Easter music. Uh, we're live on KBLP. Please get in the chat room. Let me know what your favorite Easter tradition is or uh, favorite food for Easter. And we'll be back in a few minutes. 